just so you know, everybody can be aware of what's going on in different groups and whatnot. Uh, I think, though, sometimes, uh, and as Wave has demonstrated, you know, a little bit too eyes early can curtail your creativity a little bit. So when these guys kind of went off the top of their own little office and really did some wild and crazy things kind of on their own, I think they were able to uh, be a little bit more free. And then later we roped in the rest of the company. So, so I think just that little bit of a creative uh, space. Rest, space is pretty important. But uh, at some point you started using it uh, yourself uh, and others? Um, you know, only very recently. I mean, it's only been in the past couple months that uh, more broadly the more company people have started to use it. So we've barely had a chance. It's, uh, you know, although the developers are, you know, uh, that we're making available to today uh, are starting to use it roughly at the same time as I. What about uh, inside internal groups like uh, the Gmail team, uh, the Google Apps team? I mean, there seems to be a, a fair amount of integration that's going to have to go on. Um, once we figure out exactly what makes sense to integrate and how to integrate it. And I think that's uh, the nice thing about it is that uh, if we'd started asking those questions you know, two years ago, it would have led to, I think, a very different outcome. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we just let them do their own thing for a while and are uh, more recently asking those questions uh, creates a product that we would not have otherwise had. This is a little bit of a, a different thing than uh, Gmail Labs, for example, which is only accessible to uh, uh, internal co uh, Google coders. Uh, this is, you're opening this oh, up yes. much earlier. From the developer API point of view, yeah, that's one of the things that uh, they really thought through from the outside. They wanted to have third-party support built in. Uh, and that's true that uh, Gmail uh, does not that have that kind of uh, extensibility. But we hope that apps more broadly will become extensible over time. What about uh, uh, mingling the code bases of Chrome and, and, and this? Right. Well, I think that this runs really well on Chrome. And I think that they've been actually sending feedback to the Chrome team about you know, what they need in Chrome and what kind of performance benchmarks we need. Uh, so that's been actually a very successful collaboration. Also, it's been a very good collaboration for the Google Web Toolkit team. Because Wave is all built on GWT. Uh, our new uh, AdWords uh, uh, interface is all built on top of GWT. So we increasingly are using that. And those have been very successful interactions. So do you think there might be some uh uh, templates uh, built for GWT that would allow uh, your developers to be, I mean, developers outside the company to be able to, uh, you know, move quicker? Um, I hope so. And it's not just a question of templates. There are also some important performance issues that they've been working on, just producing somewhat faster JavaScript and whatnot. Uh, and that, that's been very important. Too. What about the uh, background tasks in terms of web workers? Is there an interaction there? in terms of uh, the way GWT is going to work? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's something you have to ask Lars. Well, it seems like uh, this real-time thing, you yes. uh, obviously you have a, 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 an interesting opportunity, put it that way, to uh, to handle the kind of uh, issues that friend feed and to some extent Twitter have already sort of experimented with. Well, and, and I think the interesting thing here is that it's it's even faster than that. Uh, I mean, character by character is, uh, I mean, it may seem kind of silly, like why do one character at a time? Uh, but in fact, uh, I came from a similar world to Lars when Unix Talk uh, was widely used. It always went character by character. And, uh, I've kind of missed that all these years on the web. Uh, and I think it does give you actually a better, tighter communication loop uh, than having to write out a whole line at a time. Uh, so, I, I, I think it really sets a new benchmark in uh, interactivity. Can I ask you about the Sydney office? Are you yeah. pleased with their work? And uh, I'm, I'm obviously pleased so far. I mean, it's, it's a very impressive uh, early system. I think uh, uh, we need to see how it continues to develop, how uh, they're going to have now a, the challenges, of course, the stability and scalability that they didn't really have to face until it was out there. Um, but uh, I have good confidence in that team. And, and good confidence also, the infrastructure they're building off of, uh, you know, things like Bigtable, internal to Google, or 
taking advantage of Chrome and Google Web Toolkit. Uh, I, I'm glad to see those things paying off in being able to create a good user experience in the end. So you think you send more engineers down to Sydney? Um, well, they've been. I think they mostly recruit locally. It's not. I guess I phrased it maybe incorrectly. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, they are. They were in fact based in Sydney, though they spent a lot of time Mountain View. Obviously, my meetings will happen in Mountain View. Uh, but they do recruit a, a lot of good talent uh, down under. Doesn't this have implications for uh, uh, for working remotely? Doesn't isn't that going to change uh, how Google uh, operates in terms of uh, disconnected teams? Well, we were all worried that Wave would come out upside down because they're working on it down there. But, uh, <laughs> I guess it's given us greater confidence. Um, I think, uh, in all seriousness. Uh, we believe in really uh, tight-knit uh, you know, community that really is uh, communicating a lot uh, all the time. But this did demonstrate that there was actually some benefit to a little bit of isolation early on. Uh, and uh, you know, when, when Lars and Jen said we are going to rethink communication, they really did rethink it. I mean, oh, uh, a lot of other early uh, ideas tend to get focused down to what you already have. In fact, uh, the earliest versions of Gmail we used internally, uh, there wasn't a distinction between uh, chats and messages. And then we kind of lost that. Uh, and I think that was because of a little too much um, listening to people's expectations who, uh, a little too early on. What is your main role? Uh, Stephen, in fact, had demoed it to me probably a month prior to them. Uh, to them putting it out there. I mean, I think it's very interesting. Uh, as some of you may know, I was actually an intern at Pool for many years ago. Uh, and uh, it's, um, I mean, I, th I think, uh, first of all, having a web interface is something as powerful about as that is actually the right way to go. And the idea that because you have now this web interface, uh, you can bring in a much larger corpus of information than you would for installed software, for example. Uh, it really highlights uh, the capabilities of that model. I, mean, I think I'd like to keep playing with it more. Uh, I think it's going to keep developing and be very interesting.